rompeu. You had to make me cry, didn't you? You've made me a better man. I know, a work in progress, lol. I hope I can live up to be half the husband to you. Then the wonderful wife I know you will be. You have made me so proud seeing your work ethic and drive and everything you do. I can't wait to build a life with you and a family with you. I love you so much, Amanda Marie Mayer. <laughs> I, Liam, take you, Amanda. I, Amanda, take you, Liam, to be my lawful wedded husband. I give to you my promise to stand by your side. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In the good times and the bad. Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. Laugh with you. And cry with you. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest with you. And I will always do everything that Amanda, Amanda tells, tells me to do. do. Damn it. <laughs> 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 and cherish you for his <laughs> As long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> both shall live. Double standard, okay? <laughs> <laughs> give you this ring as a symbol of my love and with this much to share my life's journey with you and love you today, tomorrow, always and forever. So when I googled the perfect best man speech, you had to pay to get the examples and I didn't think it was worth it. But there's always comes a time in everybody's life where they meet somebody special somebody to laugh with, somebody to cry with, somebody to tell you that you're pretty on your ugliest days. And that day came from Liam 10 years ago when he met me. I met Amanda at a wedding rehearsal actually when we both didn't know many people. So we both started talking and never really stopped. I had no idea she would become my best friend. I remember walking to that little league field not knowing nobody the whole season, this dude didn't say but two words. We were literally the bad news bears. We lost every game but one. We tied. And you would have thought we won the World Series. And one of us hit a line drive to the outfield. Again, the kid that didn't say nothing. I seen the corner of my eye, him staying up and saying, hell yeah. That's all you heard out of him for the rest of the season. Friends and family, I am proud to present you Mr. and Mrs. Liam Robert Mayer. Make some noise! we were supposed to be standing in the garage trying to get our laughs out just to sneak in to see Melissa waiting up for us. 
<laughs> we text everybody on Friday night and say, what are we doing tonight when we already knew we were going to Walmart to look for women? <laughs> we change it up. Milford, Camden, Denton. They all look the same. <laughs> but then I remember he came to me one day. He said, you know Amanda Moore? You won't believe what she said about me. Boy, tell me. Playa. And he's, I'm going to confront her about it. I said, you, you know, you go ahead. And he came to me about a couple weeks later. I said, you confront Amanda? And he said, yeah, I'm talking to her now. <laughs> I thought, oh, you playa. We've laughed together, we've cried together, and I'm so glad I get to be a part of their special day. I love you both, and P.S. Amanda, I'll always help you sneak in what you buy on the credit card. <laughs>